Hello everyone, welcome to my Octav tutorial. So this video I talk about the loops. Okay, so in here in my Jupyter notebook loops. Okay, say for example we will see the Fibonacci sequence. So we can use the for loop for finding the Fibonacci series. Okay. I think I can show one basic example. For example, okay, so for i colon i equal one colon say five and then i int. Okay, so it's like the values of i from 1 to 5 in here so it's this loop will repeat so it will repeat from 1 to 5 then you can see this value right so if i write okay for example say sum equals to 0 that is i define the sum value in here then i can write okay sum equals to sum plus i so it will sum up all values and then I can print sum so the sum is 15 that is if we if we want to uh, add 1 to 1 to 5 then the total sum is uh, 15 so this is a for loop in here so the structure is for then I from 1 to 5 and then end of this loop so this is the way we can use for loop for finding the Fibonacci series uh, sequence uh, so in Fibonacci you can say f1 is 1 and f2 is 1 then we can find f3 if we add 1 and 2 uh, there is 1 and 1 then add 1 and 1 then is 2 then add 2 and 1 then is 3 3 and 2 is 5 right so the this uh, adding uh, the two previous terms we can use a for loop so for example f is the vector so f1 the index 1 first index of this vector is 1 and then the second index of this vector is 2 right and third index so i is 3 to n that is the n number of vectors for example uh, n components of this vector so n is 20 so from 3 uh, from f i so i will vary from 3 to n and is here i define 20 and this is like f i minus 1 and i minus 2 so it's like the previous uh, uh, previous index so i is the present index so i minus 1 is the previous one and i minus 2 is the previous second one so this is the way uh, this loop will repeat and we can find next values of the sequence and finally if i write in here f okay so it will print the whole sequence whole Fibonacci sequence okay see in here okay so another loop is like a uh, while so in while loop is uh, kind of different with for loop so in here in while structure uh, while int so n laser equals to 10 and this is the condition so while loop will uh, will will be working uh, along uh, uh, yeah, when this condition will valid right so in here i define okay my n is 3 so that is f3 it will find f3 and then n equals to n plus 1 that is a uh, 1 uh, n will increment by 1 that is n will be 4 and then n will be 5 and each time uh, each for each time each uh, each loop right it will check the condition where if this condition is valid then uh, then this loop will work right if the condition is not valid like when n will be 11 then it will not work because uh, this condition value will be false so if the condition is false then it will uh, it will break this loop okay so yeah so this is f like up to 10 so in here i am saying n n up to 10 so this is the 10 uh, 10 terms of the fibonacci sequence this is another uh, simple while loop that is x equals to 1 so x valid uh, up to up to 10 x x up to 10 so then x equals to 2 into x that is x is 1 then inside a loop it uh, check the condition okay so x yeah 1 is less than 10 that's right 
so then it will multiply 2 into 1 that is 2 then it will say ok x is 2 then the next thing uh, x is 2 so it will check the condition x is, uh, 2 is less than 10 the condition is right so it will execute the inside the loop and the 2 into 2 is 4 and x value is new x new value is 4 then it, it will check again the condition so x is uh, 4 is less or equals to 10 that's right so it will again execute the condition and it will be 8 so it will check again and this is right so 8 into 2 is 16 so then it is print x is 16 now it will check the condition 16 is less or equals to 10 no it's false so then it break the loop okay so yeah so this is another example so in here we can here a is a, a is a matrix is a 3 by 3 matrix and b is another 3 by 3 matrix so we can sum both a and b matrix by using a plus b and also we can sum up both matrix by using this for loop so it's like a nested for loop so one for loop and inside the another for loop so for example all components of this matrix we can we can add a component with a component so a i is like okay so number of rows and j is like the number of columns right so for if you want to go every component then we need to define two loops one say for example i is one right so c is one then j is one two three that is c one one c 1 2 c 1 3 like this right then we can we can sum up our a and b with all components and using the loop we can find the sum or uh, without using the loop just the sum a plus b you can find the sum okay same way uh, okay so this is another example about the factorial so using the for loop we can find the factorial n so the factorial n is the multiplication from 1 to n uh, or we can use the while loop for finding the factorial and we can see we can find we can get the same value for 5 factorial is uh, 120 we can use both loop uh, and we can check the same value so you can you can check yeah this is the function that is for factorial function we can find the factorial and here uh, another interesting example so this example is about a fixed point iteration so for example if i have a function x equals to cos h x over 5 then x is like a function phi of x right so we can find we can find the root of this this uh, implicit expression we can find the roots uh, or we can find the fixed point uh, and the relation of this like x n equals to phi x n minus 1 and we uh, we can do this uh, by using an iterative process okay in here we defined a function phi and uh, yeah this is a while loop so using this while loop we can we can find uh, the x value with this iteration yeah uh, Mm, that's it in this uh, video or to understand this uh, fixed point we can also plot so for example x equals to 0 colon 0 0.1 colon say 2 uh, y 1 equals to say x and y 2 equals to say phi this is a function right phi x so this is y1 and y2 then we can plot uh, x comma y1 say for example this is the red and we can plot x comma y2 and this is say, say blue so we, we can we can see this value but in in this here the problem is we need to write uh, plot gnu plot then it will plop, pop up this okay 
yeah so this x and the the function the hyperbolic function uh, that is the cos hyperbolic x over 5 then we can see this is the intersecting point this point in here you can see uh, in this point the x value is 1.404 something or 03 something the approximation so we and using this fixed point iteration we actually finding this this approximation and I in this case we need this seven iteration okay thank you for watching this video